What an idiot! Oh, what a loser! What's going on guys? It's Ben here. Pretty excited for today's video. We have some more update news to share with you guys. We have some new game modes coming for the Clan Wars. And then also, some news for my side of videos, for my creation of videos. And then, hey, I've been trying to get 12 wins for this uh, Triple Elixir and I cannot do it. I'm trying to do it on this account. I mean, I've got, I got the 10 wins. You can see I got that. I think it was like 50,000 gold, that little check mark right there. I just can't get the big prize, the 162. So the battle deck that I'm currently using is actually really, really good. I consistently can get up into like the 8 and 10 wins. It's just like I I, I, I clutch. I, I'm not clutching up here. It's annoying, man, because you make one wrong mistake in Triple Elixir. Ah, that's why in the intro of the video, you saw that one. I would have won that match. That would have been my, that would have been, that means I wouldn't have not have had my first loss for that challenge I was going through. I think I would have been 9 or 10 and 0 at that point. But I decided to poison all of those bats and everything because I thought it would take my tower before I was able to get to it. I don't even know what was going on. So I messed that one up because if I would have poisoned this tower, I would have got the victory. But update news. Let's get into it. So basically, we all know the updates come in June 20th. That's when the balance changes are going live and hand in hand when they update their game. That's when they throw in the balance changes. Uh, so yeah. June 20th, stay tuned. If we get more update news, uh, I'll be coming here. So subscribe to the new channel, hit that bell notification. We'll cover here first uh, as soon as we can. But so new game mode coming for War Days. New collection day game mode coming. Find out here. So this one is similar to the blind deck challenge. It was very well received. And this is what's this is what's important. I know everyone is getting mad that for Clan Wars that it's, they need more tournament levels or the only one that's tournament standard is like draft mode and all that stuff. Well. They heard our cries here because now this is going to be called the Classic Decks Battle. Uh, basically, it's going to have pre-made decks of well, it's like the archety archetype deck challenge. And basically, what's going to happen is it's going to be called Classic Decks. You're not going to have to build your own deck. It's going to be pre-made ones for you. And that says, well, for 1v1 in Clan Wars now, we're going to get Classic Decks at tournament level. That means you don't use your own card levels. Tournament level, that's really awesome. A uh, draft is going to be tournament level. And then there's going to be Sudden Death, which is your own card levels. So uh, then there's going to be 2v2 for normal Elixir, own card levels, and double Elixir, your own card levels as well. So more options for the 1v1 in collection days to have your like tournament standard, because I know a lot of people are struggling. But hey, at least they're giving us gold here for this challenge. Hopefully you fared well. Let me know how you guys did in the challenge. Uh, but for my video side, if you guys have been following me for a very long time, I haven't even showed the battle deck. It's this one right here. Um, I used to do these things called... well. They're just like I would, I would mini edit my videos more or put more time into editing them. Maybe if it was something funny went on, throw some like mini edits into there. And that was like, I don't know, six to eight months ago. For those of you that have been watching for a long time, you guys remember. So uh, I'm not going to do it every video because it does take a lot longer. But when I have the time to, uh, I think it'll be more fun to watch than just me just playing straight through. Uh, cut out all the boring, boring parts and everything like that. So let me know if you guys do enjoy that. Uh, we'll give it a go for the first one here. And let's get into this. So, hopefully for the triple elixir though, we can get a victory here and get 12 wins. I mean, I I don't know, guys. This 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 challenge has been giving me and like it's been so hard for me. I don't know why. Um, I'm mean, like I said, I, this for like the there's a lava hound that surgical goblins kind of built. Uh, this battle deck actually has a very good counter to it, and honestly, with the it has like a good counter versus golem decks, swarm decks, and everything. It's just. It's a very solid deck, and the reason why is like the Zappies and the Flying Machine pair so well because, and then the Three Musketeers top it up because a lot of people, they a lot of people are running like a Tornado and a Zap all together, but a lot of people aren't. And then if they are running, uh, did I say Tornado and a Zap? I meant Rocket, uh, a Rocket and uh, Poison and all that stuff. So yes, a lot of people are running the Poison, but not everyone's running those in Three Musketeers and everything. So. I'm kind of just chilling back here. Um, I did eat a little bit of damage here. The Zappy's gonna destroy that, destroy that Infernal Dragon. So I'm just gonna slow down, talking a little bit, and just try and re regroup here because I did take a little bit of tower damage. Um, he wants my three Musketeers all on the same side. I, I don't really, I'm, I'm okay with that. I mean, I guess it's easier to deal with. So poison coming out. Um, I guess we're gonna launch down the Zappies again. I haven't really had time to establish like a big push going on right here. So, I guess we'll go in now while I have the opportunity to. 
And then I'll rocket his uh, Inferno Dragon because that seems to be the main key that's shutting me down here. So this guy's been playing pretty well actually so far. I haven't got a whole lot of tower damage onto him. He's He's been able to do his graveyard push very, very nicely. Sadly, that was a little disappointing right there. So poison coming out. Barbarians just chilling. We are getting some nice tower damage on the right hand side though too. And the left hand side. So we got, that was a pretty good push for us. It seems as though he's playing for the chip damage with the poison because he knows it's gonna go down to, to go down to towers here. And we're getting kind of late into the game. So I kind of need to hurry it up here. Uh, I'm gonna actually go for the left hand side. Yes, I missed the tower. That's totally fine. I need the tower damage. That's why. So we're going in the poison, and then we're gonna do a rocket just so we have it in time. Because I think in time we'd be way better. So I'm just gonna get the tower right now. It's fine that he's gonna get my tower because we're trading towers, and I have an advantage at the moment. Sorry, like I said, this went full try hard here. I was talking in the beginning. Nah, not so much anymore. We got our zappies and everything. That's gonna take care of those skeletons. Yes, we're eating a lot of damage actually. Oh gosh. The reason why I'm doing that is I need to take care of that Inferno Dragon. I don't have that great of a counter for it. Nice, our flying machine got a hit. So I can log, I'm gonna rocket, log, and he's gonna go in for a push. So this is gonna be game right here, as long as I don't die. Let's go, man. <sighs> Clutching up. That was a good battle, like. Early on, like, when I was talking to you guys, like, messing up my words and everything. Oh, <laughs> uh, saying, oh, yeah, tornado this, this, or whatever. It is, like, the reason why you run the Barbarian Hut is it's helpful for when you drop your three Musketeers. Because the Lightning will actually take care of the of the Barbarians instead of your, um, instead of your Musketeers. Now, flip side, though, if they're on the Rocket, you gotta be careful. Um, and you, you, you gotta be careful about spreading out your troops, because... The Three Musketeers died to poison, the Zappies died to poison, the the Flying Machine dies to rocket and poison, or fireball and poison. Those are your main kind of key cards that you try and keep together. I want to see what this guy has. So, he has. so this guy has a rocket, so he has a Barbarian Barrel, cut or the Goblin Barrel coming out too, and I can't really have that. So he's playing some bait right now. Uh, the bait's actually going to be pretty good versus me. Just being completely honest. So I'm going to save my log solely for either the Rascals and or that Goblin, uh, the Goblin, I can't think of the name right now. The Goblin Barrel. So we're going to log here. Um, yes, he has that Inferno Dragon. We're trying to get our Zappies close to it, but kind of failing at the moment. If we're being totally honest with ourselves here. So I did end up missing one bar, uh, I thought it was going more to the other side. He did end up getting our tower with that Inferno Dragon, uh oh. Uh oh, we're not sitting pretty here. This is not good guys. So, we have Princesses coming out, we have the Inferno Dragon that's really tough for me to deal with. I'm gonna have to save the rocket just for that and try and get him to rocket something else of mine. Jeez, what is a, what is up with everyone? Oh my gosh, and I missed. I don't think it really would have made a difference. I don't think I have any way to get by here. I guess maybe if I wouldn't have missed that rocket on the Inferno Dragon, it wouldn't really, I don't think it would have made a difference. So, we're back kind of where we don't want to be. 
We're in two. See what happens, man. This is where it gets. This is where the going gets tough. Once you get up in here, early rounds, no problem. So we're going up against the bandit. Uh, throw on the zappies. Honestly, I don't really like my opening hand. You really want to see your barbarian hut? I mean, we did have a P.E.K.K.A., but it's okay. Um, this is gonna need to get rocketed and then poison for sure. Zappies take care of the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, right now, I'm just trying to get my my barbarian hut actually cycled and better. Like in a I'm trying to get more of them. I guess I guess what I'm trying to say. I haven't shown on my three musketeers yet. Thought that battle ram was gonna get through. I haven't seen what his other cards are. I don't know if he has a poison, I don't know if he has a lightning, I don't know if he has a rocket, so he doesn't have a rocket, okay. Um Let's go with our zappies, I guess. We have a Pekka to worry about and a battle ram. And some triple musketeers too. Oh, joyous. Joyous day here. I haven't even, like, I didn't even tickle his towers yet, man. <laughs> Not at all. Probably where the main man gets really aggressive. Thank you, Pekka. Thank you for being smart. And not chasing the battle rev. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Well, this is interesting. So he's resetting. I'm gonna reset as, as well. Thought he was gonna go all in on, on an offensive attack there, which he did not. I was bleeding out elixir there. Oh no. Finally getting some tower damage, man. Caught us up. I'm telling you, he made one mistake with his rocket. And that was it. You don't know what the mistake was. He missed his um. He tried to hit the tower and the three musketeers, and that was his one mistake. Still have to check the time. I'm just trying to whittle down his tower and get that rocket in there.
This is risky. I'm gonna get minion hoarded here. Him resetting his P.E.K.K.A. like that actually just won me the game. Wow, man, these matches are intense. You see what I mean? You see what I mean about the three, three elixir, triple elixir? Like, you make one mad mistake, you are done for. That's why it's so crazy, dude. I don't know. And you just gotta hope and pray like your deck matches up well with them, because if not, you have no chance of winning. Maybe like, if you're playing regular challenges, you got a shot, even if you're totally out countered or whatever. This this not so much. Like, you have no shot whatsoever if you're if your battle deck is not up to par with theirs. So we're playing some sort of bait battle deck. Probably very similar to the other one. I don't like having to do this, but I, I have to. If I can get that P.E.K.K.A. there, oh my gosh. Well, even so, Flying Machine is still getting some hits. It's really what we like to see. Gonna have to log here. He knew that one. Um... I really just have to save my poison for the uh what the, what is it goblin gang goblin girls rascal girls So there's a minute left. I went a little bit on the aggressive. I have to take the tower right now. Sheesh, dude. Oh my god, let's go, dude! Oh my god! Wow, that was insanely close. Ah! <laughs> yes, dude! Wow, we're just immediately gonna- we're not even gonna discuss that, we're just gonna take it and leave it. Get into the next match. Wow, dude. Nice. Another log bait battle that great. This time, this guy is rocking the rocket. Haha, <laughs> get it, get it, get it. Um... He's gonna have the rocket and the tornado.
Is this guy's is a much faster cycle. 100% for sure. Dang it. So I let him get a hit there. Okay, so this guy is definitely much, much better, faster cycle here. Probably should have started cycling on the tower there. The rocket. Because as you can see, now I'm already out of the game. Sadly. We need like a miracle here. So those princesses are about to hit me. Hi. Well, two log baits in a row, man. I think we played that pretty well. Tanya, we consistently get 10 wins here, man. We just cannot break through. Get the 12 wins there. I'm sure we'll get it soon eventually, but you can see the battle deck has its strengths, has its weaknesses for sure. The cycle, the fast cycle of the bait is really annoying. We did pull out a victory the first time before before this match, but not, not for the other rascal bait. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Like I said, we'll be covering all the update stuff when it comes out. Let's hope it's a good update. So stay tuned for that. Hopefully you guys fare better in the challenge. And I'll see you guys later.